and welcome to Offstage. I'm your host, Michelle Wozniak, and our guest today is The Generals. Hi, guys. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Howdy. we've got two guys from the band today. We're missing how many of you? Three? Uh, well, Three. two and a half at the moment, yeah. <laughs> two and a half? Technically, yeah. And, it's a long story. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. You were, you were starting to tell me the story earlier. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. You want, you want to tell us your names and what you do in the band and, and who it is that we're missing and sure. what they do? I'm Tony Cole, and I sing. Uh, I, I'm Odell and I play bass. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, we're missing Kevin, who plays guitar. Uh-huh. Uh huh. He's at work. Okay. But well, we don't need to know where that's right. Is. Yeah. <laughs> well. Okay. And uh, Matt plays drums. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And he couldn't be with us either. Okay. Um, we we have a new guy we're kind of working in right now, uh-huh. and so he's the, the the fourth and a half general at the moment. Mm-hmm. So we're. Uh, it's kind of in the planning so phases right now. Um, you guys have been out for quite a long time on the scene. And uh, how, long ha- how long has it been since the band had formed? Well, we started the Generals when we were in college in late 1986. Uh-huh. Um, did our first few gigs while I was still living in Ann Arbor. Um, we moved in together in 1988. And at that point, we started playing more often and, and recording with the intention of putting records out. Which you have two records out, three. How many have out now? Uh, Let's see the ones uh, you have. Oh, two two the full ones plus mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. The, the first one was 1990. Uh-huh. Uh, the second one, which was also our first CD, <laughs> Thank you Lee, What We're Cooking. That <laughs> came, <model>. yeah, <laughs> that came out in 1991. Uh-huh. And we have a new That's tape, right. which is cassette only, mm-hmm. uh, which will be available at your neighborhood stores shortly. That's uh, fairly new. So that just came out about yeah. two weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, about you were two saying. weeks ago, right? Uh-huh. And uh, and let's see, let's see the really last one that you had. <laughs> this is just on cassette. So where can people purchase mm-hmm. this? Uh, shortly. Um, let's see. Where, 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 where are we at? Mid June. Probably by the end of the month. Probably by the end of June, mm-hmm. it'll be available. Sam's Jams, mm-hmm. off the record. Repeat the beat. All of your mm-hmm. your better your better record stores. Um, What's that? What are they retailing for? Uh, between five and six dollars. Oh, that's great. Yeah, if that's you come great. and see the generals, we we sell them for five dollars at the mm-hmm. shows. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are some upcoming gigs you guys got? Um, the one we got coming up next is. Um, let me see, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. It's in Columbus. <laughs> yeah, it's in Columbus, Ohio. Columbus. Our favorite city besides Detroit. Yeah. Uh, June 25th. It's a Thursday. We're playing in Columbus, uh-huh. and that'll be the first gig with our new guitar player. Oh, good. And his name's Elliot. And in fact, uh, uh, he's been living in Canton, so hi to all of Elliot's folks out there. You don't want to know where he lives. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have every girl in the city calling at his sure. front door. Okay. You <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, you guys gave me this great promo package. Now, you guys, now your tapes and things have been played um, in a lot of college radio stations. I've got Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Ohio, Michigan, Missouri, New York. You guys have been all around. Um, are, are you guys? Um, I mean, is your ultimate goal to like become one of these famous bands, or are you guys just content being like a local kind of band? Or what do you guys actually? No, actually, we'd we'd rather just do nothing and just do nothing. Play at paychecks for us, we're like. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I have heard that before. Oh, right. so yeah. No. No. Um, <laughs> no. With the the playlists in question are from the CD last year, and the idea is for us to uh, bite off a, a bite that we can chew. Not, not too big of a bite, that, that if we can get something going in the Midwest, mm-hmm. like you mentioned, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Good. and uh, Good. Chicago, Ohio, mm-hmm. areas that we can get to uh, that are readily accessible that we can co- go to again and again mm-hmm. on the road. Sure. And, and that's, that's sort of the idea is to, if you imagine a, um, a dartboard kind of going yeah. outward from Detroit. That's, that's a real smart idea. Yeah. Now you guys are with, working with who? Chaos Records? Chaos Records. Uh-huh. The new tape is also in conjunction with mm-hmm. East Lawn Records, mm-hmm. which is also out of Detroit. Mm-hmm. And both labels are very supportive of us promoting ourselves to national, independent, and uh, uh, major labels um, with, mm-hmm. with a goal in mind of, of getting a, a good contract. Oh, good luck. You guys are really good. Um, Oh, uh, let's see, you've got some songs on this one, let's see, from just the tape, just called The Generals. Um, Somewhere, Your Mama, uh, Crawlin', Wrap Me Up, Someday, Lay It Down, Seen Better Days. Um, who is the songwriter in the band? Are all of you kind of involved in that? We all help put the songs together. Uh-huh. Kevin will come up with the main idea. Yeah. He'll come up with some words and, and uh, some music, and all together we write our own parts, flesh out the songs. 
And you don't say very much, I've been uh-huh. noticing. <laughs> it's usually the no, singer I'm, that, I'm the that usually, yes, yeah. the singer's usually the chatterbox. What kind of plans uh, do you guys, um, you know, like after this, do you plan on just kind of just moving around and playing at some places, or do you plan on going back to the studio, or are you guys writing again? And how, you know, how are you guys doing this? Because this just came out. Are you guys going to say, okay, we're going to take it easy in the studio, we're <laughs> writing, and we're just going to, like, you know, try and get as much exposure as we can? Well, What's losing <laughs> our lead guitar player kind of reorganized our priorities a little sure. bit. Once we get the new guy worked in, we're going to record some more new tunes mm-hmm. um, when, when they're ready. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to be promoting this tape, promoting it to labels. Mm-hmm. And, and the idea is to, the, the next step, maybe the hardest one, is going from, Nash, uh, from a local, regional type of thing to a, a more national approach sure. is a big step. Well, there's so much um, there's so much competition out there now. There is it's like Detroit is just saturated, and I notice a lot of the Detroit bands are kind of um, you know trying to get out more and make the name known around. You know, because once you're known in Detroit, that's that's about it. Everyone boom and the word spreads. But uh, we're gonna take a short break and we're gonna show a few clips of the Generals playing live. Let's see how good they are. Be back in a minute. I'm ready, they're not, but here's the generals.
off stage and we had just taken a few looks at some clips of the generals and uh, it was quite interesting right. uh, where was that that you guys were playing at oh the uh, there's a couple different things in there right uh -huh. yeah um, sonic blur from the Latin Quarter uh, that was a show it was a benefit show for Children's Hospital from about I want to say about a year ago and where was that at yeah, at the Latin Quarter here in Detroit in Detroit okay. mm-hmm and the, uh, some of the other items were from a, a cable show we did in East Lansing called Eat at Joe's, really good show. Eat at Joe's? Yeah, <laughs> and that was, for, that was a little more recent. That's on the college campus, right? Um, yeah, actually it's uh, local cable access in the okay. East Lansing area, mainly uh, uh, Michigan State students. Uh -huh. yeah. That's great. Uh, what are some of the funnest places you guys have played? Dave? Well, Muskegon's always interesting. Muskegon? <laughs> Isn't yeah. it kind of yeah. like way up on yonder? Oh, it's way out, uh, by west, I guess. West side of Michigan. Yeah, it's about a half hour north of Green. They throw Rivers. beer cans at you when you play. So they throw beer cans. Yeah, mm -hmm. they don't like you. <laughs> they like you. Yeah. If they uh -huh. don't like you, they leave or something. I don't know. Uh huh. So what, what kind of what kind of crowds do you like? You like the kind of crowds that kind of stand around and throw beer cans, or like the kind that dance, or the kind of oh, people who just kind of sit around. People that and get into it. Uh -huh. Some people that just sit there and drink beer. I mean, they might like you, but. 
Yeah. You don't know that. Yeah. I'd rather have a beer can thrown at me than have people just, you know, <laughs> be, be still and quiet. Like, uh -huh. crowds in Ann Arbor are kind of like that. People just sit there. Yeah, but you gotta think too, those are college students. They're probably getting out of class and they're tired. They just wanna mellow out. Doesn't mean they're not enjoying mm, it. I think they're mellow before they got there. Oh. See, but, okay, <laughs> I mean, let's contrast here with, uh -huh. with, with a city like Columbus where the, the, the you know, the kids dance. You know, yeah, I mean, you, yeah. you could pack a bar full of kids and, and they'll be right up front in your face in Columbus. We, we love, love going it. down there. Do you guys really, really play up to the audience a lot? It's an interaction, uh -huh. definitely. Yeah, it's you're gonna work with the crowd that you've got. You're gonna work, and it, it, so it's gonna be a different show every time because mm -hmm. it's a different crowd every time. Good, good. We're gonna take a short break, and we're gonna show a few clips of the generals playing live. Let's see how good they are. Be back in a minute. <laughs> Thank you. 
funeral in my trial. Hello, 
all, welcome back to Off Stage. I'm Michelle Wozniak, and we were just showing a clip of the generals, and we're going to wrap it up for tonight. Uh, any last words that you guys want to say? Want to say hello to anybody? Uh, say goodbye to anybody? <laughs> say well, anything rude to someone? <laughs> oh, nothing rude. I don't know. Uh, just don't fall in love because it'll bug you high. Yeah, that's you that's a good one. And uh, say hi to our, our mentor and and uh, spiritual advisor James K. Doom. Oh, of course. Uh -huh. uh, James K is our our, K. our, our inspiration, uh -huh. our spiritual leader. <laughs> good, good. Okay, uh, upcoming play dates. Anything planned? You guys got going right now that you can think of besides Lily? You got the new guitar player. So yeah, we'll be scheduling. We'll be scheduling a, a lot of new dates, and uh, so look for us around all around the Midwest. We'll be doing gearing up to tour in July, August, September. Good, good. Um, and uh, no reading yet. We're not huh? through taping. <laughs> Sorry. <okay? laughs> he does that on stage when we play. It's, oh, it's, God. it's his thing. What, so. it, what's the name of the book? Oh, The Witching Hour. Oh, boy. Yeah, right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, that's the end of the show for today. Thanks for joining us. This was The Generals, and I'm Michelle Wozniak. Thanks for joining off stage. Trying to start a family